Hello, hello, and here I am again with my next video on my channel request list. So this is another life purpose video. So this one really focuses on the elements and lessons of your life purpose, primarily the lessons of the Life Path 9, but also with 10% focus, the lessons of the birth of the energy of the six, because your birthday number six. So this is for a life path nine with, and somebody that was born on the 6th, 15th or 24th of any month that adds up to life path nine, which is 9, 18, 27, 36 or 45. So your life path, your focus is to achieve the energy of the nine don't forget your sub lessons and I can do those more personalized videos that include the sub lessons if you join my channel because then I can do you more personalized videos. But for now, this is all about the nine, just the nine without the sub lessons and the six without the sub lessons as well. So just the six energy. So you're here to focus on the nine and the elements of primarily with the birthday number six, the elements of the six also as a 10 percent focus. It's like be a nine, but bring the elements of the six in as a, like a, a sub focus to support the energy of the nine. So primarily you're here to learn and develop past the energies of the nine. So this is the most important number for you. And then alongside that, to support the energy of the nine, you're here to bring in the elements or learn the elements of the six, but lower priority than your learning elements of the nine. But these two together show you the entirety of the lessons that you're here to learn and the tasks that you're here to achieve in this lifetime. So life path number nine most importantly, you're here to learn to follow your intuitive wisdom and value spiritual faith in your inner intuition over worldly logic or the prejudices or, or ideas of the world because nines can fall too far into following worldly laws and prejudices and following unrealistic ideals and sometimes acting very counterintuitively and at worst very discriminatory and sometimes with great prejudice and the, hit, the nine is here to follow their intuition so that they don't follow these worldly prejudices and discriminative ideas and they follow the voice within them which is much more accepting of others which accepts everybody as a spiritual being within the the source energy so the nine is here to focus on their spiritual intuitive real authentic knowledge and energy rather than worldly laws worldly prejudices worldly ideals you know they're here to be more spiritual and intuitive than that the nine is also here to be because it's a powerful energy they've got to have ethics and integrity and the intention to improve other people's lives and well-being the nine is here to use their power to improve the lives of others so because that's what they're here to do they can at their worst act with selfish intention for their own gain be even unethical and uninterested in other in uninterested in other people's well-being but their own and find that they act inauthentically and say that they're you know, acting to help others when really it's more for their own selfish intention. But they're here to develop towards having that intention, not selfish, but to help others to be ethical, full of integrity and the intention to improve the well-being of others and not just the well-being of those close, those far as well. Nine is a very humanitarian kind of energy. So they're here to accept everyone around the world without discrimination, to understand to not have racist ideas or misogynistic ideas or to have any disdain for other religions or other way of life. So they're here to be all encompassing, to be a humanitarian, to have a global consciousness that accepts all. But because they're here to be accepting of the world, there is a tendency for them to struggle with bigotry and discriminatory behaviour. 
So they're here to act with responsibility and take responsibility for their powerful nine energy, their choices and their actions and not act nefariously or selfishly or, you know, when they do act that way, you know, take taking responsibility for maybe what you've done sometimes nines can struggle to even take responsibility if they've done something that's caused harm to others and that could have been just from selfish action or just not thinking about it but this that they've got to take responsibility if they're still struggling to act responsibly at least start by taking responsibility for what has already been happened that's the first step really you're here also to be a passionate entrepreneur Entrepreneur, somebody that markets their passions, who, who who takes their passion into business and earns money from that passion. But because you're here to do that, you may also fail to connect with your passions at all, fail to connect authentically and definitely fail to then market them as an entrepreneur. Maybe you're too focused on the world and too focused on things that have happened to you in the past and causing you victimhood. Maybe that's taking your energy away from time that you should be spending on your passions and your interests that you could develop into something that could make you some financial abundance. It's something for you to really assess yourself and, and think, am I using my energy for good, um, positive and forward thinking, or as is my energy not focused on my passion is my energy focused on worldly prejudices or things that may have happened or things that I might hold against others you know assess how you might be using your energy and 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 move towards if you aren't already working with passion and interest and something that you can really develop into something positive to really help people close and people far Socially, you're here to lead positively by example. You're powerful. You've got to practice what you preach and others will emulate and follow you. So they will follow you to positivity and well-being. But you could also, at your worst, lead, lead negatively or, or, you know, share negative or untrue wisdom. And people will follow you to their own well-being, but they'll also follow you to their destruction so it's really important that you lead with positive authentic intention so that you lead people to their well-being because you have the power to do both you're here to be positive well-intentioned an intuitive influencer teacher counselor advisor so sharing wisdom that is edifying and useful and high energy and is going to help that person you know because you can be negative intentioned, maybe sometimes even teaching wisdom that isn't true, advising your followers to do things that maybe are not in their interests. And you're here to advise them or counsel them or, you know, use your positive intention to help improve their life, to improve their well-being, because that is your purpose in this lifetime. You're also here to learn to have excellent, charismatic and influential social skills so that you can draw people in and communicate your positive authentic well-intentioned wisdom to others in order to influence and teach them not to be dominating or aggressive or um, force people to do things this is about teaching and influencing people to understand and follow you not to be dominated um, and nines can get a little bit too dominating when they're here to just lead charismatically with authenticity and great charismatic social skills. They're here to be excellent speakers, able to influence an audience to their healthy, intuitive, well-intentioned way of thinking. They they. They're excellent speakers and teachers and influencers, and they have the ability to influence to people towards great things. They can bring people through their wisdom and influence. They're here to bring people great well-being. Um, but at their worst, if they act selfishly, they do have the power of getting people to act in a way that actually helps the nine rather than, than, than them. Nines are very good at they have the gift of the gab. They can communicate in a way that can be very manipulative at their lowest. So they're, you know, they have the potential to use language for good positivity or for 
selfish or negative reasons, but they're here to influence an audience healthily, authentically and positively in this lifetime. To practice interdependence with boundaries, because nines can try and do loads for everyone else and not accept help from others you know so they don't give and receive help from others in a balanced way which they need to learn to do so they do too much for others sometimes over fix people's lives sometimes meddle a bit without boundaries and then they don't accept help from others so they give 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 and they deplete 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 and then they try and do everything on their own and don't ask for help and feel almost that it's a weakness to ask for help not Nines, you give a lot, you need boundaries to make sure you're not giving too much. And you need to ask for help from others too. You know, we are all one. We're here to give and receive in equal measure. So it's not just about you giving. You've got to receive as well. It's really, really important. You've got to learn to see past um, any perceived injustice that may be holding you back from connecting or asking for help from others you know, sometimes perceived injustice from the path can be an opportunity to imp learn important lessons, but sometimes nines can use it for victimhood, you know, past holding past unresolved anger and having a spirit of revenge or and, and even being quite, you know, nefarious and, and expressing negative action because of their negative revengeful feelings and their feelings of victimhood and I'm going to get you back. You know, nines need to be able to understand that all experience, positive and negative, is an opportunity to learn important lessons. It's not an opportunity for us to get back at people we think that have done bad thing to us we've got to look at that perceived bad thing and think how did i draw that negativity into my life what is it that i can learn for the future that will stop me falling prey to that situation again in in essence whoever quote unquote does something negative or hurts you or does something that brings you sadness it's a huge opportunity for you to pick that apart and learn and develop and bring positive learning from that so that your soul is developing that's all it's about it's not that there that somebody wanted to hurt you or or that the world is against you it's that you need to go through these experiences to develop your soul and unfortunately it's the negative experiences that teach us the most because that's where our soul is most challenged and that's where our soul has the potential to learn the most most, but you have free will the learning of that is up to you because your soul's development is your responsibility and no one else's so look past anything negative that happens to you or that you feel that people have done to you and see it as an opportunity to learn important lessons for the future and not let it hold you back victimhood is not something that is good in your life unresolved anger revengeful feelings this is not going to bring you positivity and even if you express those revengeful feelings you will not feel the fulfillment that you think you will feel and you will regret feeling that way so it's about reframing things that happen to you and understanding how your soul might develop past that that is really important so you're here to be all of that that I just said and learn all those elements bit by bit and your expression number, your soul urge number and all the other numbers in your chart need to be used to help you primarily achieve the elements of your life path nine. But that's not all. You've got to look at the, the six as well to have some ideals. Now the nine is saying don't look at the world too much. The nine is saying focus on your your intuition but then the six is saying okay look at the world's ideals and reconcile them with reality and see if you can bring those ideals with your practical action to still be a visionary of the better world because remember as a nine you're a humanitarian you're an influencer you're a teacher you're a bringer of well-being and then in the six you're being asked to actually express the ideals that are already within you and to have those you you ideals but only 
bringing forward or or trying to manifest those ideals that are feasible and realistic in this world right now because remember the world is a perfect balance of light and dark and we need to experience that dark it's great to look at the utopia and work towards bringing the light bringing the utopia bringing the well-being over balancing the dark with the light but at this point in our evolution humanity needs to see the dark and the light you can't know by just knowing love you've got to know what the opposite of that is hate and see how they are how they are so opposite to each other and how one brings destruction and one brings health you know what love and hate two polarities we've got to see the pair of them but that doesn't mean that you as a nine six shouldn't look towards that utopian ideal i'm not saying it's futile but it's something that humanity is working towards. And it's people like you that are going to be the people that are going to be the pioneers of pushing people or in influencing people towards a better, more utopian world. But that doesn't mean that you that you feel that that utopian world must be here now and you're angry about that. You know, that's something that you need to get past because you've got to understand and learn and accept the universe that is as it is now all existing in perfect balance for our experience and learning so you mustn't be judgmental of the darkness in yourself or others or in the world you can't be judgmental of that it's something for you to observe and learn from so don't be judgmental of yourself others and the world for not meeting your light ideals we're not there yet we're not in the total light yet we need to have that balance so people aren't going to meet their your expectations the world isn't going to be all light it's always going to be too and you you know you can set high boundaries for yourself you can tell yourself that you're going to be all light but you know what you're human you're a developing soul you mustn't judge yourself sometimes the darkness is going to come in it's part of your experience i want you to understand your shadow self and use it and develop your shadow self because it's a part of life you're here to learn to keep the big picture in mind remember this is only 10 percent focus so work on your ideals when it comes to being a nine and make sure you're not using and judging others with your ideals because this brings extra focus to your idealistic p potentially almost fundamentalistic sort of ideals if you let that happen because your intuition needs to stop that because you've got to keep the big picture in mind and, you know, when you're working with or assessing any kind of detail of a situation, because sometimes the six can get lost in that petty, perfectionistic, judgmental detail and think that things aren't right and feel that, you know, judging small imperfections and, and judging themselves again and forgetting and not realising that they're walking, working towards a big picture here and not to judge themselves or others for things not being quite perfect yet. Things are not not going to be perfect yet you've got to stop setting the bar too high you're also here as part of your life path and you're in, in the nine you're here to bring well-being to influence to to teach people towards well-being and then in the six it's saying be that responsible sensitive sensible advisor that people can trust so there's a huge emphasis in your nine and six life path purpose which means you need to be an ethical leader and advisor and some Somebody that people can go to for help and wisdom and advice but ethical authentic wisdom advice with boundaries is very important also the nine and the six they're very creative numbers so the nine energy can be very all-encompassing with music and art and expression with how they influence others and the six is adding to that it's saying bring some artisan into your influence into your work as a nine bring some aesthetics some color some maybe some some beauty maybe even some music because the nine is an all-round creative artist and can influence and teach others with all-round creative artistry whether it be art or music or singing and then the six is enhancing that saying yeah 
bring in your creative artistry your 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 whether you're an artist a sculptor a singer a musician a home designer a hairdresser a beautician bring it all in because you can use that to help you to bring nurture and well-being to others through the nine and also through the six nurturing others with your creative artistry so there's double focus really on you using not only your words but also your your creative artistry, your art, your aesthetics, your 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 music, your love of music, your passion for music to help to nurture others and bring them to well-being. Because sometimes, I mean, you're not going to struggle with these difficulties as much as you will in the nine difficulties. But sometimes your your ideas might be a bit and your ideals, you might want to bring them too quick and they might be unfeasible. You might be a bit judgmental because the nine is judgmental. So is the six. So there's double the the the, the chance for you to judge yourself and others too much and not realize that nothing's perfect and it's not meant to be perfect. You know, the world isn't going to meet your ideals you're not going to meet your ideals no matter how high high you set the bar for yourself and you'll get upset and disappointed that you're not meeting your own ideals setting yourself up to fail and that's not a good thing for you to do you've got to understand that you are fallible you are a work in progress and mistakes are all part of learning and you know even things that you feel go wrong again it's all part of learning you can't get lost in the petty detail and just sit there judging small imperfections look at that big picture and learn the lessons you need to learn to help you be better because you're not always going to be perfect and you shouldn't expect that from yourself others or the world because it just isn't how the world is you know and you may you know you're here as a nine to bring well-being and be responsible to influence and teach and bring your wisdom to improve people's well-being and then you know, you're given responsibility in the six to also be the sensible advisor. But sometimes you might dislike being given responsibility or want to push responsibility away at times and and feel that you know why is it always me that's got to do everything but you know you are here to look after others to be the advisor the influencer the teacher but make sure you've got boundaries to that so then when you are called upon to be responsible you're not already exhausted from the responsibility you've been given before so that you have less of these feelings of oh why is it always me because it does tend to be you a lot because it is your purpose to be of service to others but you've got to remember those boundaries for yourself and not let low confidence from you fully exploring and and expressing yourself verbally and most importantly letting it stop you from expressing your wisdom and your creative artistry whatever that may be whether it is art whether it is music it's something that you can use to help you to nurture others and maybe as a big part of how you bring others well-being so it's something for you to think about if you're a life path nine and you have the energy of the six which is very musical very creative artistry very aesthetic but very sensible advisory and bringer of well-being a nurturer the six is like i would say like a a popper or a mama bear and the nine is a bit like a popper or a mama bear so you're here to be you know the the bringer of wisdom and knowledge the the person to be listened to and you know and brings well-being to others in a nutshell that's your life purpose for this lifetime you're here to be a nurturer compassionate caring to your family your community and those less fortunate to develop your social skills so that you can be a relaxed talkative team player here to create loving stable nurturing peaceful home life for you and your family to feel safe and secure to learn to be non-judgmental remember the nine and the six can push you to be judgmental of yourself and others which can cause you know um, disappointment in you and judgmental feelings and anger towards others when you need to be more accepting that we're all a working process 
progress. But when you're helping others in your nine and your six energy, you've got to make sure you're developing healthy boundaries, balancing your own well-being with that of you helping others. Know when to stop helping and fixing everyone else's life and care for yourself and your own family because you're here to be a nurturer and compassionate. You can sometimes not be so nurturing and sometimes, you know, at your worst can be quite downright ne neglectful at times, especially if you've got a victim men mentality from the nine energy or you feel any revengeful feelings from your victimhood in the nine energy. It might cause you to be less of a nurturer and more apathetic and neglectful when you're here to be a nurturer and compassionate. You might, you're here to be a communicator. You're here to be social and talk to people, but you might struggle with a bit of social anxiety, shyness, a tendency to hide in the background. Um, but you need to get out there and be social and try and work on your social anxiety because you're here to be loving and nurturing and care for others. That's your purpose. You also have the potential to be unloving and quite neglectful at times, creating fear and instability instead of creating peace and safety and love. So that's something you've got to make sure you're always not tipping into difficulties or nurturing others in um in a in a non-positive way and it's not because you're evil or negative in any way it's because you need to balance and be more loving and nurturing and more peace loving in your home it's just part of your purpose to develop that you could be again judgmental scornful unaccepting of those that don't meet your standards or, or judgmental of those that may have hurt you if you haven't gotten rid of that victim mentality. Or on the other side, you might do too much, meddle in other people's lives. And this is going to lead to you doing too much for them and almost stamping on their life path and you losing yourself and ending up just being depleted in exhaustion. So again, those boundaries need to be there. Yes, you are here to bring well-being. Yes, you are here to improve the life, improve the world as much as you can with your action and your verbal and your creative artistry but you've got to make sure you look after yourself too and ask for help from others to accept help from others give and receive in equal measure and take the rest and, and time out that you need for yourself your family and your own creative artistry so you can be a life path 189 and an example is if you're born in the 6th of November 81 but there are many other dates that make you a 189 because it's one of the more popular and then you're going down to the 279 and as the numbers go up to say towards the 459 the 459 is more rare because you kind of need two master numbers in your birthday you need to be born on the 22nd and you need to be born on a 22 year um, so you need two 22s in your birthday in order to be a 459 so that's the more rarer of the life paths and of course if you are a 189 a 279 a 369 or a 459 then if you contact me and join my channel I'm sure I can do add that detail to this video and do a personalized video for you which encompasses all your sub lessons and then all your expression talent number your soul urge number your personality and how it's all going to play out in your chart and that's something I can do for you if you join my channel from level two upwards and if you subscribe to me on podcasts, I will do that for you too. All you need to do is send me an email at katie at soulexplorer.net. Tell me that you've subscribed to my podcasts if, if they haven't already told me. And we can get in contact with each other to have more of a personalized service on YouTube. And of course, on the podcast, depending on what you're listening to this on. Birthday number then, you're going to be born on the 6th, the 15th or the 24th. So those sub lessons will also need to be taken into account when it comes to your purpose. Because as I said, this video is about the nine on its own as a life path and the six birthday number. They are the two most important energies. The, the sub lessons are the extra detail that I can give you 
if you're a member of my channel so email me at katie at soulexplorer.net if you want a personal reading just a one-off reading you might not want to join my channel you might just want a big two hour or one hour reading of your chart numbers on a one-off basis you can contact me by emails preferable at katie at soulexplorer.net and i will be more than happy to do a life purpose and pinnacle and personal year reading just for you over zoom or you might want to learn numerology, in which case my beginner's book's coming out. Um, you can do my course on Udemy, which is good. Or you might want a one to one personal service from me. Again, send me an email if you want me to work with you on a one to one level or maybe just join my channel and I will be able to work with you one to one to a certain extent on there as well. If you want to comment on any of my videos, ask me any questions, request any videos. Just put it on the description box of my videos or send me an email, whatever works for you. You can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn or Twitter. You'll just get a faster response if you email me or maybe comment on my videos because I probably, I don't know, email me is the most definitely, definitely. So that has been your life purpose video for today. If you're a life path nine with a, a birthday number six. But you've got to take that wisdom on board and make sure it's your intuition you're using in order to walk that path. Because only you know what lessons that are for you to achieve. And that's important for you to figure out. See you soon.